Hey guys, Lindsay here. Just wanted to do a vlog about some things that went on yesterday. Um, just a fun vlog, so no worries. No drama or anything. I went to my mom's house. We were going to make applesauce. And uh, we were going to can applesauce and stuff like that. Apples. Um, but my stepdad was sick, so we ended up not doing that. <clears throat> but instead, um, I just kind of hung out there and stuff. And we went for a walk out in the woods. My mom could show me around. And I wish I would brought my camera. I brought it with me, but then I didn't think to bring it out with me in the woods. But I wish I had because some really funny things happened. Um, my... In case you're wondering, I'm filming outside because it's the lighting inside really sucks and it's a beautiful day today. Like, I mean, it's so pretty. We have this perfect blend of green and colors and it's just, and it's like warm, but it's not hot and there's a nice breeze and it's super, super nice out right now. So I wanted to do some filming out here. Anyway, so we went walking in the woods yesterday and yesterday it was really cloudy, which I like, I like cloudy. I like rainy days. Um, you can hear, you can probably hear in the wind. It's a nice windy day. Um, but blue skies today and we were out walking in the woods and walking in the woods is not something you should do when you have really long hair and I have my hair is really long it's like past my waist long yes I do want to get it cut I just haven't and it got stuck in some uh, prickers and I thought okay be like a horse and plow through no big deal so I, I pushed through and <laughs> um, someone driving by Make sure they're not going to turn down my driveway. No, they aren't. Okay, good. <laughs> like, I don't want to say anybody. <laughs> um, anyway, so, <laughs> um, so like, I'll be like a horse and I'll plow through the, the prickers. So I did, and I got through, but then it turned out it wasn't prickers. It was burrs, which are like these little um, circular shaped things with lots of little barbs all over it and I think their they're seeds is what they are but they attach to fur and they it, they're, they're awful to try and get out and they're, they're a big problem with horses and stuff because you have horses out in the pasture so they're out in the woods and stuff and then they come in and then they got burrs all in their tails and stuff and you guys sit there and yank and pull them out and it's just socks it's not any fun I had it all in my hair I mean like it was like all up in there and it was oh, it was it was awful, so my mom and I had to sit there and, <laughs> and pull the burrs out. It was terrible. And uh, after we finally got all the burrs out of my hair, and it, of course it put, when I, we pulled the burrs out, it pulled the product out of my hair, so then my hair was like big and frizzy. I looked ridiculous. And um, we kept walking out in the woods, and we lost the trail at some point. I'm not, this has never happened before, so I don't know how it happened this time. We lost the trail, and... Um, we ended up, we made it down to the pond, and my mom says the other side is called England. I don't know why, I assume it's a pond reference, because people call the ocean the pond. So I'm assuming across the pond, that's England over there, I assume that's what she's getting at. But, um, it's like a swampy area, and then there's the pond, and I made a lot of, you know, Lord of the Rings references, like, you know, don't follow the lights, and I turned to my niece Claire, and I'm like, don't follow the lights, and this is the spirits of the, the souls of the fallen, now rest here and stuff like that and she's too young to really understand what I'm talking about but I got a kick out of it because I got the references but nobody else got the references so nobody laughed they just kind of looked at me like I was nuts but <laughs> you got to make your Lord of the Rings references when they come up you know and then we're walking back and the whole time uh, Rogue which is my mom's Australian German Shepherd or Australian Shepherd um, she's following us, and she's getting all muddy because she went down in the swamp, and then one of the barn cats followed us all the way out there, and, um, but she wasn't muddy because it's a cat, so she's not going to go in the swamp, but she's stuck nearby, and we ended up walking through stick tights, and if you don't know what stick tights are, they're these little seeds, really itty bitty, they stick to your clothes, and you just get thousands of them all over you, and it's like, you don't even know how it happens, it just happens, so we spent like a good 20 minutes sitting there picking stick tights off us, so that was interesting, I'm like, why did I bring my camera, this would have been funny. So I'm like, my camera was in my purse, and I didn't bring my purse out there. Um, but I have to. We're gonna go, we're gonna do applesauce next week, so I'm gonna bring my camera then, and maybe I can get my mom to take me on another walk. Not because I'm hoping to recreate it, but because I want you guys to see the woods because it's beautiful, and all the trees look really old. And uh, one of the horses had a baby, so I'm like, you guys could see the baby. So next week I'm gonna bring the camera and hopefully remember to do that stuff. But I also want to show you some of the things my mom gave me. Um, she gave me this. My kitchen is done up in Italian chef stuff. Um, don't ask me why, it just is. And so she found this at a garage sale. How cute is that? 
he's kind of creepy and like not so cute but then at the same time he is cute <laughs> He's kind of funky looking, but this would be a great plate, a great like fruit bowl or something that can go on the table. I thought that was really sweet of them to see that and think of me and grab that for me. So there's that. And then my mom gave me Huh. Um hmm. Hold on. It's got stuff on it. Um, okay. And I've lost my balance. I'm not drunk. I swear. <laughs> my mom gave me this. She made this. It's a cutting board. Yes, she made this. And it's beautiful. And she said that she thought I would like this one because it looks like the floor. So they put it in their house. And I always talk about how beautiful their floors are in their house. I love wood. It's so pretty. Um, and she said it's great. This is a good size for cutting cheese or um, uh, fruit and things like that. And it's, I don't really eat meat that much. So this is perfect for that. And I'm just so, it's so pretty. I wish you could see it in person. It's so pretty. It's perfectly smooth. She did a fantastic job with it. My mom is super crafty, and she's always come up with these awesome things that she can make. She made lanterns, once using solar lights, and um, these glass bulbs they use at railroad tracks. They used to, but they got rid of them all. So she, got, she made these great wire hangers to hang out in your garden and stuff, and that collect solar lights, so they, they're lit up at night, and they're really pretty. And she, I'm trying to get her to do an Etsy shop so she can sell some of this awesome stuff that she makes because it, it, she she's so creative, so talented. And then she also gave me this here. It's like some sort of um, oil. I don't know what kind of oil it is, but it's really expensive. And she said that I need to wipe the, the wood down with it every now and then. And I think it's leaking. I think that's what was all over the, the wood when I picked it up. So look what's all over my hands. Is my car, like, super greasy or something? I got black stuff on me the other day, and I couldn't get it off. It was on for days. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Now i got to wash my hands. So, okay. I just wanted to share that with you and tell you about everything that went on. I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, I think that's it. I'm going to I'm going to turn this off and then I'll go inside and then I'll remember what it is I forgot. But yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, I remember now. Um I just want to tell you guys that when I was coming on my way home, I noticed that my uh elementary school that I went to as a kid, they closed down years and years ago. They closed it down to try and get all the kids in one school or some crap like that and it was a great school. It was small, it was perfect. I loved going to that elementary. And um they closed it down years and years ago. But they've kept it running for some reason and recently they put this massive fence around it it looks like it's a prison or something um with barbed wire over the top of the gate and the the fence has spikes on it and i'm like why would they put that around that seems really weird i don't know what they're planning on doing with it now and just thought it was strange and so i got some footage of it to show my mom because i was telling her about it so i don't know maybe you guys have seen this before so you'd know what in the world if they're doing over there i just thought that was really weird I'm not going to tell you the name of the school because then you'd have an idea of roundabouts where I live. I live far away from there for now, but not that far. So, okay, that's the end of this vlog. It went on too long. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow for the Friday Reads. Okay, bye!